Peace and blessings, family. Sister Ajali. Oh, my goodness. I know my title is Incendiary. Are Black Women Stupid? Which I'm one of us, but there's a whole collection of characters out here who are Black women themselves and they bash Black women. Now, when I offer my unmitigated support to both black men and black women, I don't do so because I'm mindless. I do so because I am a researcher. I need the genuine facts, especially after having been lied to for so, I mean, you know, you've been lied to too. Our entire lives under the authority, the stolen authority of Europeans and those derived from Europeans, I, I, I have such a repulsion uh, to what is a mental rape uh, that I insist on the facts. When we say, you know, just kind of throwing it out there, we're the chosen people, and then they prop up those other folks as, uh, you know, because that, that's their claim too, which is stolen. I, I, I'm like, I don't want to just be about I think the word is hyperbole. I want to know what's the truth of the matter. And so the more I research, and that's how I have always come to my ferocious faith in Allah, is through doing the research. Anybody who comes at me and you're like, you know, Allah is the devil. You cannot leave a just empty statement like that and think that I haven't done massive amount of investigation into understanding exactly what I'm proposing and what I'm talking about. I don't get up here to proselytize. I say it all the time. It's in the Quran. He has many beautiful names. You must, it doesn't say this in the Quran, it's what I'm saying, you must choose the name for the one and only, the creator of everything, no partners, don't bother trying to find a whole bunch of various gods to assist you because if they do not understand how to recreate all of existence, which demanded one mind, not a committee, then you're barking up the wrong God tree, okay? So I didn't mean to say all of that, but it said it is what it is. I, before I get into my commentary, I want to begin by thanking those of you who have purchased my soap recently. You've done that to such a degree that I have to make new batches of my three brands. Well, I just made black, uh, new black soap, but I have to make new batches of Nzinga and of Silbar. Amazing products. None of my stuff is made in another country, specifically like China, and made with horrible quality ingredients. And then I get it shipped to me and I slap my label on it. There are folks up here with really wonderful names for their stuff. And they're supposedly pro-Black. I know from investigating them too that they're not. But they'll put their logo on these products they get from China. They don't make it themselves. These hands make my products. Dr. Xi's hands make his formulas and his tireless research. He has far surpass any in-depth research I've done on the medical health aspects, fortifying aspects of melaninated bodies, okay? So when you get our products, you get in the real stuff. You're getting our decades of investigation into how to make an amazing us. So go to 25,000 cycle dot org 
and make your sister work, okay? All right. Now, let's get on to this topic, which is, I don't even know who this chick is. I just saw this article on Daily Mail and I was like, are you kidding me? Really? Trump's risque remark to young activists, they just throw that word around when it, activating who? For what, all right? Who went viral for hugging him at Chick-fil-A after he invited her on stage at rally as she makes very personal dig at Kamala? I ain't mad at her for making a dig at Kamala. Please do. That woman, I was wrong in assessing that white women would be so insulted, so incensed uh, that they would uh, trounce Kamala. I had hoped that they would because they keep getting passed over uh, for, in their minds, has always been the insult of black us being put up as the, you know, like uh, poster child minorities. And they're always riding shotgun. They don't want to do that, but they don't, I don't think to a certain extent they're willing to slough off their own chains because they're the white man. <laughs> they got no problem having him orchestrate all this stuff so that he can remain in charge and the ultimate outcome of him remaining in charge is all of them going to the nothingness. They are fearful, more fearful than they love the truth. Well, obviously, we all know that. Otherwise, they wouldn't have lied to us as much as they have. So I was wrong. I don't mind admitting when I'm wrong. I'm not wrong about that dead ocean, but they even have an organization, White Women for Kamala. There are so many white folks out here right now just force feeding us Kamala because they make an assumption uh, that we're just going to, you know, we're like trained dogs where it's like, oh, Kamala, whatever you say, is she been picked as the head? She was defeated summarily, like at the very beginning of the Democratic, you know, like, I don't know what they call them, the primaries or whatever the heck. She was defeated. And no, 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 no. She's not black, but I'm not here really to go into all of, and she hates us. Oh my God. Which, you know, I guess I got to highlight it a little bit. And I thank you for watching the whole share all the way through because this type of analysis, I don't see it anywhere. And that's unfortunate, but that's not necessarily our black fault. That's the way they set up social media so that you get a very narrow assessment of what's going on and it's meant to lead you to make certain conclusions and then you'll think well but that that this channel's got a million views on this one share they must be popular or a million subscribers no it's like you know a dollar in a dream that that saying they came up with so everybody could go and give their money away to the lottery system hoping they were going to win it's the same thing with social media, only it's a microphone, a camera in a dream where you think you're going to control these platforms and they have no intention of any of uh, anybody who's telling the truth of getting their you know, analysis out there. That is the last thing they want because it would just be over for them. It's almost over for them completely. I know they've already lost, but they're hiding that loss incredibly. I mean, right now they've got articles coming out where they're like, oh, the medical industry admits uh, that, you know, so many patients die from iatrogenics. Well, th that's been out for the longest time. I'm just using that as evidence that these people have to throw out certain truths in order to keep their credibility because the more they lie and everybody even demons want to know the truth the more people are 
finding out. Wait a minute, that was another lie. Wait a minute, no, that's another lie over there. And then you start to lose faith. It, it, it folks, only thing that keeps the fiat dollar valuable because it's not based on gold. It's not based on anything. It's based on faith that it is worth something. While in the meantime, the Federal Reserve makes it worth exactly whatever the heck they feel like making it worth, right? And so if folks woke up and said, oh, oh, wait, hey, the whole thing, the whole thing, with you, all you got to do is look at China. They envy China. They want to enact what's in China right on over here. But it's a different system over here. And so in a certain sense, I'm actually grateful that white people, they used to fight more. Right now, they're just giving up because they fear us coming into our own and being in charge of our own destiny more than they fear being beholding to the folks who all their history, they've been lying to each other and they know it and they used to fight, but they don't anymore because they fear us more. That's not our problem. We're not here to fix them. We're not their therapist, okay? We got to fix each other. And so when I see this, you know, I looked at the video. I can't show it here because they don't let me. It's about the radiation. They don't let me show these things. But this chick was up on stage looking so, like, comically hyper sexualized where she's just like you know showing off her curves and you know it, it was like she was was marilyn monroeing herself on up and then i i noticed she got the pink on to make the white people feel comfortable oh, she got the pink mind okay um and then trump i don't know if it was at this rally or whatever he said this young lady almost made him not want to go home to the first lady. I was like, what kind of side chickeration going on up there that that young lady is going along with? That the swirlers, the divesters, the... You, oh, this article in the... Oh, what an awful rag the New York Post is. But why more black women should consider marrying white men? This is this thing where in order to be as stupid as they need us to be, you have to be someone who is not a long-term thinker and all women of all races around the planet. It is in our nature to have allegiance to the macro society. It's not just black women who have, who that is the nature of womanhood. And that is how she then measures the value of the man that she would attempt to be with. If she's still sane enough to know she's supposed to be with a man. Um, and so the devil comes in and he hijacks human nature of the men of the women too right with men he's turned them into just like everything's about sex everything and that has led them to minimize and trivialize the integral role of the woman in maintaining society so you have men who are going along with the whole you know slut walking road to hell that they've been pushing women on through appealing to their desperation for materialism. They built up this just hedonistic, not so much a hedonism, but the materialism. We are living in a material world. Oh, we're living in our lives world and he makes whatever he needs to make. You're not supposed to get stuck in just the stuff. So that's one of the ways, if you read the protocols of the learned elders of Zion, 
one of the ways and methods they use to control people, and they've done so to all women of all races all over the planet. That's the fact because I investigate, because I research. I don't just go with what New York Post says, why more black women should consider marrying white men. Oh my God, where did these biracial children go? They go to more white people. They don't go to black people. And they certainly, if they do go to a black person, it tends to be someone who's as pale as they are. And no one further investigates just the power of melanin so that you're robbing your children of a significant wealth that cannot be measured, not by white people's standards. They wish they had melanin but they wish that it would do things the way that they want to do it because they got a God complex. They're about the superficial, the look of stuff. And because they've driven us out of our minds, we wind up believing that, oh, look, it's a cute little pale baby. They got that nice hair. And this stupid stuff where you're breeding yourself out of existence but this article says, oh no, but these black women, they're so much more successful. So these educated women who, they're the stupid ones I'm talking about, right? Most black women ain't this daggone dumb. Most black women, a large quantity of black women, that's why they hunt us so much because there is a not a wokery going on, there's an awakening. It is present, it is powerful with millions of black people. They may not have all the information, but they're waking up to the fact they've been lied to and they're angry and they don't wanna be lied to anymore. And they're through their media because there's certain venues, there's the rich satanic elite they control, like the Olympics with all that madness up in there. They control these larger platforms, even the civil rights movement. I finally realized, oh, wait a minute. When the Honorable Elijah Muhammad came on the scene and he had lots of people in the rain around the block trying to get in to hear his wisdom, his guidance. They said, oh, no, 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 no. We thought we got rid of Booker T. Washington for these folks. Hey, eh? but it's just natural. You want to separate. Children want to leave their parents' house. And if they don't, you should kick them out after a while. I'm just saying, okay? Um, They want to leave the house. It doesn't mean that they want to kill their parents. They just want to do for themselves. They do not understand us. They don't like us. And they are predator mimics. They hunt us relentlessly. As a woman... Do you want, when you're in a macro society, hooking up with the dude who's going to use you, pump and dump, and not give a damn about you? And that's what this dude right here is doing to whatever her name is. I forget these friggin', they're all side chicks. They're all side chicks because their strength, their real wealth, they're breeding it out of existence. So they're only a blip. They're gonna be great grandma that nobody talks about anymore because their children are so desperate to be recognized as white. They're not about, they're not about to highlight great grandma and that she was just magnificently melanated. So for her, why would her children value blackness when she doesn't? Because that dude right there, his daddy's in charge, right? That's the same for the black men who go and hook up with a Becky. You're not in charge, her daddy is. So that's the seed that you're giving to your children because yours is out of his mind, right? You ain't getting stronger with the enemy, bowing down and capitulating to your enemy. Because here's this woman who publicly 
it's being I mean, she's being so embarrassed and she doesn't even know it. She might as well have just gone up there naked on the stage and got it on with Trump because that's all she's worth. And she's making a booty kick, 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 ha, 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 Trump is being sued by white women who were upset that he used and abused them. But this chick is up here smiling and twirling and flaunting like she the belle of the ball. No, you the bathroom chick that couldn't even get into the ball. But you gonna do whatever with the you know cotillion queens boyfriends, and you just let, get left stained and forgotten, right? And they ain't gonna like smile at you and acknowledge you in public. They've driven us so insane because unlike all the other races of women on the planet. We are part of the chosen people. And so they directly focus their attacks on us. Why in the world are they working so hard for our vote? If we are such an abysmal people, why don't they just say, you know what, Black people ain't working out? You just, we know you're not going to last because you're too damn dumb. So just here, here, we'll give you a state, maybe two states. And we'll be coming to put the last one in the grave when you're all done. Why don't they just do that if we're that horrible? They know we're not. They're terrified of us because we have, when our melanin is allowed to civilize us, a deep love of the truth, a deep love of doing right. You can see it all over the place. I don't know how many stories I've run into where, like, ooh, I'm, I don't even want to talk about them. They're so gruesome. But white people are losing it, losing it all over their families, all over their neighbors. It's that old, I just wanted to see what it was like to stab somebody. What? I have never, ever, ever in my life wanted to know anything of the sort because I know what it feels like to just tell a lie to someone and you feel horrible. I mean, now, I don't know, no, I wouldn't be doing that. But when I was young and you know, you're gonna try and see what happens. There are things that I did when I was young that I still regret to this moment in my life. I regretted them right after I did them. I was like, I shouldn't have did that. If I'm about what I think I'm about, why did I just do that? And it just sticks there. So why in the world do I want to end somebody's life? Just so I can see what it felt like. It feels like crap. It feels like the worst crap in the world has crawled up into your body and it will never leave. But you got them out there doing that stuff. You got them in London, in England, all over England actually rioting because a Rwandan young boy, 17, and they showed his photo, which is something they never ever do for their white killers, young white killers, killed three young girls. I'm sorry he did that. That's an awful thing. But this is how you could tell we're different people because much as they say, well, what about black on black crime? What about white on white crime? All the things I mean, what the ways they are just, who they losing it? Because these are the last days. It's an energy, it's a pull, a gravitational force down. And they're just giving into it because they don't want to embrace the truth. And so they're having riots. It's just white people, woo, going up against white people, decking each other. And unfortunately, an Asian, two Asian men, one got decked, the other one, they got into his car. They didn't show the whole thing, but yeah, he got assaulted too, and his car got something or other. Every Everybody, I thought this was a Rwandan young man who did that. 
And I'm not saying he's good, he's bad, or ugly, but when I look, like with the black women, Rwanda is a place where they will work in on those people, the Tutsis and the Hutus. They will work, the French were working on them, and then they dragged the Americans in there. I, I was, yeah, it was Kofi Annan. And he went silent, because they told him to go silent about the whole thing. He had his white wife, and there he was being taught, tricked into being silent about a genocide. But they needed that genocide to happen in Africa so that it wouldn't look so obvious that they're the only ones on the planet who commit genocide. That had to have been quite the emotional distress for that young Rwandan man who was incited like all these other immigrants to go on up into Europe. They ain't what? You think that they went in there like the Europeans went all over the planet and destroyed whole civilizations in order to steal stuff? You think that's what that is? No, that's the piss off the white people. So they would do what they're doing right now in UK. Britain for the whites only. I'm not saying, I ain't mad. We sent them there, right? Good, take it. But could you really leave us alone? That they'll never do because they like stuff. And they've talked us into having their mindset. And when you are a woman and your nature is to look for the man, and most of us are looking for black men, but still, even that, we're looking for black men over the stupidest reasons, over materialism rather than wisdom and bravery and compassion. Okay? So this this is this is so disgusting. She up there celebrating being a daggone side chick. That's woo. We need to just get on a whole nother level because what I always come here to talk about, Fukushima. Oh, that sucker so real. Oh my God. I don't want to make this too long, but the whales by the tens of thousands are dying. They're pouring untreated wastewater into the oceans on purpose because the radiation is destroying the phytoplankton and the zooplankton and that destroys the oxygen in the water that reduces oxygen for the entire planet right because the uh, pacific ocean i know definitively produces i do believe one third of our oxygen, all the oceans together, oh my goodness gracious, don't depend on the Amazon rainforest, okay? You'd be in trouble. But that's what's happening. And so I saw out in California when they started having that bioluminescent glow along the beaches, suddenly I saw stories about them. Oh, there's this, uh, you know, release or uh, leak of sanitation. That was them trying to repopulate the ocean with microscopic critters. And so they're doing the same thing over here because the Atlantic Ocean is also contaminated now. They're doing that out of desperation. And so they're closing beaches on the East Coast. They've been closing beaches on the West Coast forever. Everything. That's how you know it's the radiation. It ain't the microplastics. It ain't the vaccine. It emanated on the West Coast. I can, woo, don't ask me to show you all of that proof because we'd be here all day. And just for a quick reference, They've given us this mythology about their brilliance. You know, here's a chart 
of where the most billionaires are, and we know uh, that would be them overwhelmingly. I mean, overwhelmingly. Um, I want you to check out where the most billionaires are hanging out. Right on over here in California. That's so stupid. That's so, I mean, really? You do no research, no investigating? No, they love the myth about themselves. And if you're a billionaire, more than likely they're like crazy busy with stupid stuff that's giving them cancer. They're buying little pup pup planes that are going nose diving because of the Wigner effect. All sorts of things that are just in the book list that I presented with the names of all the documentation from nuclear physicists stating what radiation does and how it does it. But these dudes, like I said, stupid is what stupid does. And our concept, we got to broaden it exponentially. All right? All right. Remember, 25,000yearcycle.org. You assist me in writing my novel because I can't come up here like I would ordinarily do and would love to because that book is far more important. Literally, it is. It's ex Oh my God, it's so exciting. I don't even have words for it. I was going to say exciting. And then I thought, no, it's more exciting than exciting. And at the same time, it's about the truth. Ain't nobody writing like that anywhere on this planet. Okay. So I got to finish that book because you are going to be like, oh my God. And I'm writing it. So it's uh, just there for everybody. You help me with your purchases to continue that so that I'm not like, is anybody going to buy soap? I don't know. I don't know. And then I get an order and I'm like, oh, and I can write so much more easily. Okay. All right. Yeah, literally you helped me that way. And I thank you for that very, very much. I thank you, brother, over in the UK, who you know what's going on for accepting that package. Oh my goodness. Gracious, I don't know what's up with FedEx, but wow, I was like, what really? Um, okay, that's it. I'm done. I've said all I need to say. Mwah. I love you, straight black pride, and we own forever in submission to the one and only use the name of the creator that you feel guided to embrace. Peace and blessings.